Hello Scorpio, welcome to Shared Sensions. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Um, this is going to be a general, um, let me make sure I didn't pull through there. I didn't. This is going to be a general love messages reading. So I'm doing three different stories here. So if it's not resonating with you in the beginning, feel free to stick around or skip around. You might find a story that does. At the very end, I'm going to be going over all 12 signs and how they might be feeling towards you. Okay, let me get one more out here for story number one. There it is. All right, Scorpio. You have trust. Um, transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. And then you have twin flames, your passion ignites. Okay, so let's see what's happening here. I feel you're a little bit frustrated. What happens with this? What's going on here with Scorpio with this energy here? What's happening with this energy for Scorpio, please? The hangman. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. Somebody who has Venus and Cancer, maybe. More Pisces energy. The Hermit Reverse. Some of you, somebody is very, very slow moving, okay? That must feel a little wishy-washy to me. Yeah, it feels like you're losing hope. I think this person is dealing with a really dark energy here, Scorpio, so just be mindful of that. Um, the devil can represent many different things. They can represent fears, um, illusions, contracts, so it could even be maybe that they're uh, still tied to a marriage here that they're trying to get out of. Some of you, it could be addictions. Addictions could be anything, by the way. Um, but yeah, I mean, it could be insecurity. It could be jealousy. Um, and this could even be like your energy. That could be the energy where you're not trusting something. You could be dealing with the Capricorn Virgo. I have Aquarius here. Um, got quite a few different uh, signs here. Got Fire, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, anyway, Scorpio, you have the Hangman showing up. I feel like they are asking you to surrender to the way that the current situation is. They're asking you to just trust that things are working out. Some of you are frustrated. You're trying to, you, you feel like someone's your twin flame here is how this feels for story number one. May not be your story. Maybe two or three will fit with you. However, right now, it looks like there's somebody here. You feel like this is your twin flame. This is the one. And it's frustrating, Scorpio, because nothing's moving forward with this individual. If anything, you might even feel like things are moving backwards. And you're not trusting the universe. You're not trusting... Um, what the two of you agreed to before you got here, which is to work through these issues, to challenge one another. I think you're being challenged right now and you're trying to resist that challenge and therefore it's delaying the process. It's delaying the process. So um, if this is a real twin flame here, you guys are going to have to trust that real love never fails. It never fails. And you have the Knight of Cups here. I think this person is just a little hesitant. All right. I also think that some of you um, are looking towards this person like hurry up and finish doing your work and you know I feel like you're not even looking towards yourself like you obviously have some work to do here too or you wouldn't be experiencing this delay you wouldn't be experiencing this setback this time out in the connection you have the hermit in the reverse position things are going to speed back up here okay this person is going to come out of hiding or you're going to come out of hiding the two of you are going to reunite but right now you're losing hope that's delaying the healing it's delaying the progress and then you have the page of wands right here some of you are looking towards new things or they're asking you to look towards new things here new people you know um so that's the energy that i feel you in even if you're looking towards new people that doesn't have to be romantic partners although it could be maybe you're meant to experience you know another person here another stepping stone that's going to teach you something i did just see 333 as i was saying that um but you need to trust the process here what's meant to be is going it's going to find you okay so if this is a real twin flame it's not going to fail in the in the end the two of you are going to end up together so trust the process here do your healing. If you feel drawn to someone or something, go for it anyways here, Scorpio. Things are going to turn out the way that they're meant to turn out, okay? So let's go ahead and get on to story number two here. Keep in mind, you guys, that I am going over all the uh, signs at the very end for how they feel towards you, okay? So let's see what we get here for story number two. Now keep in mind, you guys, for this, for this deck that I'm using here, this is going over what is what might not be uh, said to you, okay? So, let's get two cards for story number two. So these are things that are not really being said to you, okay? Wow, okay. We have, I felt like you were no longer interested on the bottom of the deck here. You have, I do blame you at times, it helps. So this person really doesn't feel like you were at fault. However, they didn't trust you. It says, I never trusted you. Wow, so let's look at this. One second here.
All right. Let's see what's happening with this energy here for you, Scorpio. Six of Swords reversed. I think this person struggles to move on from you here. I think they feel at fault for not trusting you. So that's the energy that I feel them in. If, um, what, whatever reason they had for not trusting you was their own, were their own issues. I don't think that it was really personal. I guess something you did or said could have thrown a red flag to them, all right? Or maybe the two of you had had a long-distance relationship, okay? So maybe that's why they didn't really have a whole lot of trust or faith in it. Um, but it does feel like it has something to do with a past situation of their own for why they didn't trust you, okay? Maybe a marriage they saw early on or a higher level of commitment. This could have been their parents here. They just saw this. They just... I feel like they have this issue with everyone is what I'm trying to spit out here. Um, you got four majors. They see you as someone, you know, that was very special to them or still is very special to them, but they saw it as something that was going to inevitably end in chaos. So I'm not sure why this energy is here, but they saw it as something that was inevitably, inevitably going to end in chaos. Some of you, it could have been like living together. Maybe they didn't want to live together, okay? Or maybe living together kind of blew things up for the two of you. Um, or maybe it was a conversation about living together. I do feel that the home is significant. Even even if this means that it was something they saw in their own home as a child. Uh, this could be a, another Scorpio, an Aries or a Taurus. I have Cancer, Aquarius, Virgo, and Gemini here as well. I also have Aries, okay? But Scorpio, I feel like they have a really, really hard time moving on from you. And I do think that in their um, in their mind, they do blame you at times. Like, it's, it shows it here. I do blame you at times. It helps. Like, they have a really hard time moving on from it. And that that's the only thing that helps them to move on is to see you as something you were not. They, like, manipulate the situation with the magician in the reverse position, okay? So if you're looking for this person to own up to things... I I don't think that they will ever do that out loud, okay? I really don't. Um, it does feel like they may do it in their head at times, but they, they quickly change their tune, okay? They quickly rationalize their behavior and the way that they acted in this situation, which a lot of you, they could, it could have been that they blew things up or they, they moved on, they ghosted you with the full card. They um, I almost feel like this person really just valued their freedom a lot more than they wanted love is how that feels to me. It's not that they didn't want love. They just they just wanted both, and they felt like they had to choose. So let's get here. Some of you, I think that you just started to feel like they lost interest in you, and I don't really think that that's the case. Um, I just passed the card that said I can see us making it. I think that was the issue there, is that somebody wasn't ready for something to be so uh, permanent, and it seemed like it had the potential to go in that direction, so they just cut it off. Let's see what's going on with story number three. Story number three. And after we do this, I'll go over the 12 signs and how they're feeling. Story number three. Give me two cards for Scorpio. Story number three. Calling in your soulmate. Wow. Calling in your soulmate. Um, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Scorpio. Give me one second. Let me get a drink here. Let's look at what's happening here. What's going on with this energy for Scorpio? The High Priestess reversed. The Chariot. Temperance reversed. Some of you feel a lack of harmony here. Um, wow, that's crazy energy here. <laughs> crazy energy. Um, because to me, it just feels like there's a lack of harmony with knowing the truth. Um, it doesn't feel like it's, it doesn't feel like it's a bad truth. It just feels like it's something that's hard for others to understand. And while it does say, let your friends help you, I feel like that could be what's plaguing you. That could be what's, you know, kind of putting you in this energy of, um, you know, just not being satisfied, just not, not having harmony or peace. You have the temperance card in reverse. Now, I don't think that anyone's doing this intentionally, but it does seem like there could be people here kind of downplaying or invalidating a connection that's going through a, a, a rocky period here. 
Now, I think somebody's trying to uplift you here, but at the same time, you have the high priestess in the reverse position. I feel like you have access to realms in this connection that this person isn't, these people, your friends, whoever it is trying to help you, they don't have access to this. They can't understand it. They can't understand the connection. Okay, Scorpio? So it's like they're not going to understand where you're coming from here. And the more that you open up to these individuals, the more that it feels, the more isolating it feels. Okay? That's the energy that I feel you guys in. I do think that writing could be a benefit to you guys. Writing. Um, I do feel that maybe chakra alignment here, the swords lining the spine here, um, acupuncture, I am not a doctor by the way, but those could be some things that uh, that card is pointing to on the bottom of the deck here, but um, you know, it does feel like people are kind of taking shots at a connection here that's going through um, something a little bit rocky. However, I do feel that you may have a person here um, in your circle who is very, like, jumps to the worst conclusion, okay? So maybe, for example, you're you're in a connection and the two of you have a little spat and the person's like, just leave them, you know? That's the energy that I feel you're dealing with here is somebody who tries to be supportive of you, but at the same time, it's like they jump to the worst possible decision that you could make or the most extreme decision you could make in a situation here. Um, I don't think that they do this intentionally. I just feel like it's this person's personality. However, we're focused on the love aspect of this. Um, you know, try to focus on healing yourself rather than leaning so much on those individuals. I feel like they're making you a little bit more confused. Like you were already clear about something here and they're, they're adding to the confusion is how that feels here, Scorpio. So just keep that in mind. I feel like you're, you're moving forward from this. You're, um, how would I put this here? It's like you're navigating this, the cherry. I was looking for that word. You're navigating this uh, just fine at this point in time. It just seems like things are a little bit out of balance right now. They are going to balance out. You have the Ace of Pentacles here. You have the Seven of Cups in the reverse position. Things have never been more clear for you. It's just that it's not clear for other people, and that seems a little bit confusing and a little bit concerning to you, um, but it's going to be fine. You've got the Six of Pentacles right here. Keep doing what you're doing here. Um, some of you, you could add to... How do I put that? Some of you, I, I just feel as if you could add to the ways that you are going about healing something or going about approaching something. And again, with the with the swords here, this could be through writing. This could be through chakra alignment. This could be through um, some some other kind of therapy here. But I do feel as if, um, like acupun acupuncture. I don't know why I keep getting that, but I do. Um, and I, I do feel like that will bring you out of this rut. But this individual here, I think that you you are typically very influenced by them. And I would just be, be aware of that in this situation in particular. It feels like they're not understanding this okay and I did see the hair font as well so um, yeah that's, those are counterparts the high priestess and the hair font so let's go ahead and get these back in and I will go through all 12 signs for you guys Scorpio, how they're feeling. How's Aries feeling towards Scorpio? The lovers reverse. They feel like the connection's been lost. Justice reverse. I think this person feels like they, excuse me, they wronged you or you wronged them. All right, but they feel like the connection's been lost. The Aries does, okay? They could just feel like you weren't really right for them, and that's okay. Um, I don't really know if they've communi communicated that to you, though. We have the Taurus. What's the Taurus feeling towards Scorpio? How's the Taurus feeling towards Scorpio here? Four of Wands. Nine of Cups in the reverse position. Um, it feels like the Taurus is pretty attached to you, honestly. With the Nine of Cups reversed, it's almost like they would detach from their friends, their family, <laughs> to have something with you here. It's like the Four of Wands. They really want to lay down roots, have a commitment with you. It's like they really value you over everything they've ever known. It's a really, really um, obsessive energy here. So, let's see what's going on with the Gemini. How's the Gemini feeling towards Scorpio? Knight of uh, Pentacles. The Gemini feels guarded, protective. Three of Pentacles reversed. The Gemini might feel like you betrayed them in some way or you didn't follow through with, um, you backed out of an investment here, like you, you didn't follow through with the work that you were supposed to put in is how the Gemini might feel here or they feel like you, you left them hanging in a situation or you were too slow or you were too cautious, something like that here. They, they were either very guarded or they felt like you were very guarded and the two of you weren't putting in the work. How about the Cancer? How's the Cancer feeling towards Scorpio? King of Wands, the Sun. 
The Cancers feeling a little bit prideful here. I don't know what's going on here, but you really boost their ego. You boost their confidence. Um, is how that feels to me. They, they feel a little bit prideful. I don't know if they're like having some kind of glow up here and communicating with you or what's going on, but they, they feel really inspired by you. They're ready to go for new things. They're feeling really ambitious after connecting with you. That's the energy that I feel from this Cancer, but they do feel like they're getting a little prideful, a little um, arrogant, okay? So what's going on with the Leo? It's almost like for that Cancer Scorpio, you built some confidence up in them, and it's almost like they're they're going to go use that on other people. It's kind of the energy that I get. Hopefully not, but I do get that for someone, okay? How's the Leo feeling towards Scorpio? But if you're feeling like that Cancer is detaching, that could be what's going on, all right? You got the Queen of Swords reverse and the King of Pentacles in the reverse position here for how the Leo is feeling. I think they're trying to work on finances. They're working on other things. That's their focus right now. Uh, they plan to communicate something to you here, but I don't feel that they plan to communicate it anytime soon. It's almost like they want to communicate a truth to you, but they don't know what the truth is yet. So what's going on with the Virgo? How does the Virgo feel towards Scorpio? How does the Virgo feel towards Scorpio? The lovers. They see you as a soulmate. They're very connected to you, but they feel kind of blocked in some way. I don't know if you block this person or not, um, but that's how that feels to me with the Virgo here. Uh, they do want to level up with you in some way. They feel like you stand out from the crowd. They do see you as a soulmate, but they do feel a little bit blocked. I think they would like for things to um, move quicker. All right. If it's not that they want things to move quicker, it's just that they feel like they want they want truth sooner or they want clarity sooner or something like that. It's like if things aren't going to move to where they want it, they at least want to know where you want it to go is how I feel there. How about the Libra? How about the Libra? What's the Libra feeling? The Hermit Reverse. How is this Libra feeling towards Scorpio? I think the Libra is blaming you for something here. You've got the um, Hermit in the reverse position. The Hermit Upright is a card of looking within. Um, so the Hermit reversed. I feel this person is looking outward. And you've got the Seven of Wands being on defense, on guard. I do feel like they feel as if they're facing judgment or karma for something they've done to you here, uh, Scorpio. That's how the Libra appears to be feeling. Like they're trying to blame you for something um, or project something onto you here for how, how something ended. How about the Scorpio? How's the Scorpio feeling towards the Scorpio? Six of Pentacles came out reversed and then it wanted to um, spin around there. So that's interesting. I think they struggle with figuring out if they see this long term or not. Um, like one second they see it as something they can keep investing in for a long period of time. The next second the Scorpio sees it as, you know, something that's going to eventually end. I think that there's a lot of grief or maybe drama brought to the table here. Um, with the Ten of Wands being in the reverse position, it's like I think they feel a little bit burdened by this and at times they want to drop it. Um, but at other times I do feel that they see this as something that could go long term in the future at some point. Um, so wow, I don't know. With the Scorpio there, they seem very indecisive. How about the Sagittarius? How's the Sagittarius feeling towards Scorpio? The hair font reverse. Some of you, this could be somebody you were married to or in a higher level of commitment with. It doesn't seem like this is a current connection. Seven of Pentacles. They're waiting on something to close out. Some of you, they could be waiting on full closure from you. I think they're waiting on full closure from you. They're trying to move on to something new here, but they are still grieving a little bit over how things played out. They thought it was going to go differently. How about the Capricorn? How's the Capricorn feeling towards Scorpio? Queen of Cups reversed. I think they're done analyzing you and grieving over something here. Um, the Capricorn might have felt like you played games with them or you played games with their emotions, um, or they could just be seeing this as a way that they treated you. Whichever, and that's that energy is present here though, one way or another, and they're choosing to release that, okay? So whether they were grieving and analyzing you and trying to figure out your next move or your emotions, um, or whether you were doing that to them, however, however it was going, that energy is being released. They're choosing not to feed that anymore. How about the Aquarius? What's going on with the Aquarius here? How's the Aquarius going towards Scorpio, please? <clears throat> Ten of Wands reverse. 
and the Five of Swords upright. The Aquarius is feeling a little bit bitter is how this feels here. Uh, for others of you, they're trying, like for those of you who are currently involved with an, with an Aquarius, I do feel as if they're trying to drop something from their past, but somebody's being petty. This could be um, a parent here. So this could be a child's father, a child's mother. I feel like they have legal ties to this person in some way. For those of you who are currently involved with an Aquarius, it feels like they are trying to wrap that up and end it. It's exhausting for them. There's somebody very toxic from their past here um, that they're trying to you know, pry off of them. Um, for others of you, like I said, I do feel a little bit of a petty energy here. They feel like they carried a lot or wasted their time. They do seek revenge in some way. For those of you where... You know, you feel like you could have um, gotten out without a, without a scratch here. I feel like this Aquarius is one of those people who, who feel like you needed one, okay? So I don't know what's going on with that, but they might be trying to get revenge in some manner or get you to regret it in some manner. Blah, blah, blah. What's going on with the Pisces? How's the Pisces feeling towards Scorpio? How's the Pisces feeling towards Scorpio here? Eight of Pentacles. Pisces wants to work on things with you. Um, they actually see you as someone they could build, um, invest in businesses with, things of that nature. They see you as a long-term partner, somebody who um, will bring stability to the table. They can bring stability back. You have two eights here. They see you as something, like they see this connection as infinite, okay? They want things to move a little bit faster um, or they want more communication here. They could be ready to communicate something to you that they want to work on it or focus on, make this their main focus or priority. I think this Pisces is getting things out of the way here. They're getting things done. Um, so that way they can make this their main focus. You see him focused on that one pinnacle there and all those other pinnacles surrounding him. So that's the energy that I feel the Pisces in, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here for you, Scorpio. I do hope that this was helpful. Please feel free to watch out for your other signs. But if this is where we part, thank you all so much for watching and supporting me and you enjoy your month. Bye.